Saint Raphael. Saint Raphael is one of the three archangels whose feast that we celebrate on September 29th. Very fascinating individual. You can find Saint Raphael in the book of Tobias in the Old Testament in between Judith and Maccabees. It's a short book you could probably read in about half hour. And Raphael means medicine of God or remedy. God heals us. He's the patron saint of many wonderful things. He's the patron saint of travelers. You can interpret this in two ways. We travel from one city to the next or from one country to another. We want a safe trip. But also we're travel, travelers voyaging toward our eternal home, which is heaven. So we can ask him to help us to make it to heaven. Next, he's also patron of courtships. Because Sarah had lost several prospect husbands the wedding night. And he was able to connect Tobias with Sarah. Future spouses. How many young people make the wrong choice in choosing a, an individual in a courtship that really should never have started in the first place? So St. Raphael can help young people that are called to the married life to choose the right uh, future spouse. Also, he's the patron saint of joy. The Holy Father said in his uh, document on joy that it's important that Christians and Catholics be joyful. He said in New York City, St. Patrick Cathedral, to the priests, we should be joyful. If not, go back into the memory to see when we had the joy in the past. Then the Holy Father said we're called to be zealous priests, to have this hunger and thirst for the salvation of souls. In the patron... St. Raphael is also, he is the patron of happy meetings. We have to meet many people. If you know you're going to be meeting a person that might be somewhat difficult, why not call the St. Raphael that he will come to be with you in that meeting? To make that encounter with that person that might be very challenging, a better encounter, a more peaceful, joyful encounter. Also, the Archangel Raphael is the patron of purity, as well as the patron of eyesight. The elderly old Tobias had lost his sight, and it was through the intercession of St. Raphael, by applying the fish gall to the eyes of the elderly Tobias, that these scales fell from his eyes and he was able to see the light of day. How important it is that we use our eyes properly. Let's ask St. Raphael that we would use our eyes so that we will be able to live out what Jesus says. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they will see God.